Hello everyone, my name is Christos Kirko. I am a research associate at the GEOS Research and Innovation Center of Excellence at the University of Cyprus. And in this talk, I will present work that is done under the Horizon 2020 project called Caramel. So one of the goals of the project is to improve and extend cyber threat detection and mitigation techniques for autonomous driving systems. And in this paper, we highlight the important role that advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques can have in proactively addressing modern autonomous vehicle cybersecurity challenges. We show that uh, existing perception models are um, susceptible to attacks, and we finally demonstrate some preliminary res results towards addressing uh, these concerns. Autonomous vehicles are already technologically feasible and continuously being developed and enhanced with increased levels of uh, connectivity and automation in an effort to increase transport safety and reduce casualties. Several new technologies are continuously being introduced, which uh, may have opened cybersecurity gaps and have not been addressed yet. The objective of the Caramel project is to address such gaps with the introduction of artificial intelligence and machine learning based techniques capable of first detecting such attacks and then mitigating their negative impact. Another ambitious goal of Caramel is to incorporate these advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning functionalities into a physical controller that will be called the anti hacking device and uh, that can be integrated into the vehicle and in real time validate the measurements of the sensors and de po detect possible cyber attacks. The activities of the Caramel project are organized under three pillars, the autonomous mobility, the electromobility, and the connected mobility. The focus on this talk will be on autonomous mobility. Starting with the autonomous mobility pillar, the Society of Automotive Engineers introduced six levels of automation. The highest, level five, corresponds to full automation where the automated functions control all aspects of the car, and the lowest zero is where the driver controls all aspects of the car. In Caramel, we focus on level four automation, which assumes that uh, the autonomous vehicle can perform all driving tasks under certain conditions. Recently, there has been a lot of interest from academic community and industry uh, in efforts to begin and investigate the robustness of uh, autonomous functionality algorithms and software against various forms of attacks. Carmel broadly categorizes such attacks into two different families. The first is external attacks, which happen in the environment and the road infrastructure that the vehicle uh, moves in, and the second within the vehicle itself. For the first type of attack, Carmel considers attacks on traffic signs that have been uh, physically modified. The second type of attack is more invasive, which is on the output of the sensors inside the vehicle. The solutions against these attacks will be investigated uh, within Caramel and involve machine learning based models for sensor data integrity check, robust training of machine learning models, and fusion of different sensor measurements. In this example that you see on the right, uh, where the camera fails to detect um, pedestrians, uh, this could be attributed to a, a potential attack that has altered the image. And in this case, we can use measurements from LiDAR to preserve the presence of pedestrians and raise an alarms. More details on these attacks will be provided in the next few slides. Now, let's also briefly talk about the two other pillars. For the second pillar, Caramel focuses on building a novel secure infrastructure for the communication of connected and autonomous vehicles. To facilitate this secure communication, the infrastructure will feature four key aspects. Multi-route capabilities, where the vehicle can choose how to transmit its traffic. A MEC platform that will enable both the cooperation between vehicles and enable a centralized view of the system. A PK infrastructure that will enable the traffic over the network to always be encrypted and signed by the transmitter. And finally, a secure onboard unit which will feature secure storage for cryptographic keys and the anti-hacking device that will host all the algorithmic solutions responsible for detecting misbehaviors and attacks. Finally, for the third pillar, we focus on electromobility. This deals with a complex on-demand vehicle charging system 
where vehicles ask for a battery recharge. In this scenario, an attack can be to flood the grid with simultaneous charging requests at many charging stations from all the vehicles connected to the grid. Caraman will investigate decentralized solutions where neighboring vehicles will communicate with each other and schedule the battery recharge at different times. Furthermore, this activity can also be used to detect anomalies and raise an alarm for a potential attack. Let's turn our attention now back to the autonomous pillar. An autonomous vehicle uses many sensors to sense and perceive its environment. An attack in one of these sensors can have catastrophic consequences. Autonomous vehicles have heavily depended on computer vision and artificial intelligence for processing data from cameras and LADAR for autopilot and navigation purposes. In Caramel, we focus on camera attacks where the issue can arise when images are intentionally manipulated in a way that the underlying perception model or computer vision-based system fails to understand what's in the image. The perception models that process the sensor data in many autonomous vehicles rely on machine learning and deep learning models that have been trained to detect and perceive objects and structural elements and images. These models can be mainly considered as detection models that predict bounding box locations for objects and class probabilities at the same time, and segmentation models uh, would take the form of dense prediction. With dense prediction, we mean that we have to assign a label, a class label, to every pixel in the image. There are two types of attacks that can affect such models. The first is an external attack, when the visual appearance of a structural element, such as a traffic sign, is disturbed by using targeted modifications, such as printed stickers in a specific pattern, in order, for example, to make a computer recognize this sign as a turn right with potential catastrophic consequences. Since the vehicle is moving and their viewpoint to the sign changes, it is possible that this attack may not manifest itself all the time. Another form of attack is to directly have access to the vehicle internal sensors, such as when the attacker manages to install malicious software within the car that makes it possible to manipulate the camera sensor data. The perception engine has to be secured against a variety of cyber attacks at the sensor level, with the help of proper approaches for detecting the attacks and mitigating them. Adversarial attacks is a popular way to break perception systems. The key to all such attacks is to induce image with very small changes that have a large influence on the resulting prediction output. Adversarial examples typically involve small perpetrations to the image that are not noticeable to the human eye. Image deterioration attacks, on the other hand, aim at altering the input image so as to decrease its quality and so the vehicle perception module is uh, is not able to recognize what's in the image and fails. In contrast to adversarial attacks, they are not guided by a target model or task, which makes them easier to carry out. Over the last few years, there has been a growing concern on the cybersecurity of perception models for object localization, such as object detectors and object segmentation, because deep neural networks are known to be vulnerable to adversarial example attacks. There are two classes of adversarial attacks. In non-target attacks, the goal is to generate adversarial examples for which the model's prediction is any label other than the ground truth label. In targeted attacks, we seek adversarial images that can change the prediction of a model to a specific target label. For example, as you see in the figure, the input and the adversarial image are almost identical to the human eye, but for a neural network, they have completely different semantic meaning. We use the well-known Deep Lab Semantic Segmentation model to run experiments on images captured through, through the Carla Autonomous Vehicle Simulator and test the impact of carrying out adversarial attacks on the segmentation model. In the figure, you can see the original image and image altered after the attack, as well as the predicted segmentation mask from the origin, original image and the attacked image. In the prediction after the attack, structural elements in the vehicle almost disappear. Since in level four and above, human driver is not necessary to be present, it will be difficult to rely on them to catch the attack by looking at the images. This highly unwanted scenario 
is what Caramel aims to tackle by building out algorithmic solutions that detect and mitigate such attacks. Let's move now to image deterioration attacks. These attacks are rather simple and do not require from the attacker to have any knowledge or access to any underlying perception model or infrastructure, and thus can be considered as more common. These attacks can include adding noise to the image or blanking out areas of the image and adding disturbances. We again demonstrate the impact of these attacks on the segmentation model with different backbone networks. We make two important observations. First, even random noise attacks can be successful in deteriorating the performance of the model and hide important features. And secondly, as you see on the figure on the right, all backbone networks can suffer from such attacks, but some less than others. This highlights the importance of introducing robustness into the selection criteria and selecting the model that provides the best trade-off between the processing latency, since we're talking about time-critical applications, and robustness to various forms of attacks. Let's now move on to some preliminary work on detecting and mitigating deterioration attacks. We first formulate a solution using a denoising autoencoder, which is a deep learning structure that learns to reconstruct the input by removing noise. We can use this structure passively to first try and remove the noise, thus mitigating the, its effect on the perception model. Or we can also use it to, at a second stage, try and detect the attack by measuring the reconstruction error between the input image and the predicted output. If the reconstruction error is high, it means that either the input contained noise, which makes it different from the reconstructed cleaner output, or that the autoencoder was not able to reconstruct the input, meaning that the camera sensor data should be flagged as problematic. To test out this early version of the solution, we use a subset of the Cityscapes dataset. We use different towns found in the dataset for training and different towns for testing. In total, we use over 500 images for training and up to 400 for testing. During training, we apply heavy augmentation to the images in order to improve and extend the training set. Here you can see some qualitative results from different solutions. We test out different noise removal techniques, such as the bilateral filter, which is a non-linear, edge-preserving and noise-reducing smoothing filter for images, and simple blurring. As you can see, the denoising autoencoder manages to remove many of the noise artifacts resulting in cleaner images. Here we also have some results with respect to the attack detection capabilities. For the images in the test set, we randomly apply an attack with a probability of 0.5, resulting in a total of 203 altered frames. We are able to capture 70% of the altered images with a threshold of 0.02, to the reconstruction error. And these are promising results to build on and extend the approach with additional steps and mechanisms. We are currently carrying out more detailed analysis on a larger data set with more evaluation metrics. The ambitious goal of the Caramel project is to bring all the algorithmic detection solutions into an embedded anti-hacking device that will be capable for passive detection of attacks on the vehicle's visual perception modules. As such, the anti-hacking device will utilize hardware suitable for processing machine learning and deep learning models, such as the Coral DevBoard with a Tensor Processing Unit or NVIDIA Jetson series. This all is an attempt to enable timely detection of attacks and efficient deployment. Caramel is an ambitious project that investigates major challenges and cybersecurity concerns affecting the wide adoption of autonomous vehicles. In this presentation, we saw how perception models can be heavily affected by different types of attacks and how new artificial intelligence and machine learning based methodologies can be developed to assess whether a vision sensor is under attack or its data cannot be trusted. Future work includes a full fledged implementation of the described concepts and techniques to also address adversarial attacks. Thank you very much for your attention. You can follow the project activities on the web through these links and also if you have any specific question, please do not hesitate to contact me or any of the other corresponding authors.